guys, hey kings and queens. So today I am doing a small little mukbang with some fries and some gyro. And that's my little stuff that I put on my fries, like garlic and hope you guys are having a great day. My day didn't start off too good today. I was in a car accident. Pretty bad car accident today. Um, but thank God that I'm living. Thank God that it could have been worse. Thank God that he brought me through it. Um, I was driving and my car, because it was raining so bad, it veered off the side of the road. Um... And I did hit someone that was driving as well. But I thank God it could have been worse. Um, no one was really hurt. I feel fine. The first thing that came out of my mouth was Jesus. You know, um, because of the shock of me, the impact. But I thank God that I feel great. Um, you know, could have been worse. You know, so much stuff going on today in the world and life happens. And people always say that. I'm going to sit you guys up here. Hold on, guys. Life happens. Yeah, I was like really in shock about it. You know, I already prayed over my food, guys. Um, I haven't had an accident like that. Ever. You know, people are in panic right now with the um coronavirus. So. Here's the gyro, guys. Guys, yeah. Put a little garlic on it. A little onion powder on it. A little garlic on it. A little onion powder on it. Yeah, it's so much going on today. It's just like, you know, you really have to pray. No matter what, you have to just pray and just believe that God's going to protect and, you know, you because there's so much going on today. It really is, you know. These fries are good. And I have this water right here, guys. I'm find that prayer, you know, changes things. I pray, I pray every morning. You know, I try to get a prayer in when I wake up. And I feel like if I didn't pray... Um, the accident could have been much, much, pull this back so you guys can really see me. The accident could have been much worse. Here's cool, guys. Could have been much worse. Yeah. Yeah. I like a lot of ketchup on my fries.
This is my first meal of the day. I'm hungry. This is the chicken one. Chicken. Chicken gyro. But yeah, but yeah, guys, I feel great. You know, um, again, like I said, I'm so ha I'm so thankful that I didn't get hurt. You know what I mean? In the accident, I didn't get hurt. Thank God for that. So guys, I'm still on this, um, on the dating scene, still trying to get it under control as I weed out those that need to be weeded out. It's a trip. But, you know, I just cut them off. The first real flag. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. Because -mm. I don't have time to waste with you if you're not. What I'm interested in. Take a bite, y'all. Thank y'all. Open mouth. Open mouth. A lot of people right now, when I see them, they're so in fear, but it's Corona. And a lot of people are just constantly talking about this Corona. And I just say, cover your mouth, wash your hands, don't touch your eyes, your face, your nose, your ears. Just keep yourself clean. You know, keep this, your home clean. Wipe down everything. You know. If you can, all you can do is what you can do. You can't walk around in fear. And once you walk around in fear, it's not a good place to be. These fries are good. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to come on here and chat with my family. You guys are my extended family. I love you guys. I want you guys to make sure that you comment at the bottom and let me know any new um, interviews that you would like me to do. Let me know. Make sure if you like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. As well as subscribe. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me, guys. Finishing up. <coughs> excuse me, guys. Finishing up my gyro. I'm 
four. No. And four guys. Let's save this. Save this part for later. I'm just sitting up here after eating that big meal. Now I'm just sitting up here just relaxing. I am stuffed like a turkey. And as I was sitting here and relaxing, just sitting here in my living room relaxing, I was thinking to myself how important it is to encourage our children to have their own, to be very independent to the point where they're not relying on a man um, or vice versa. Um, a man's not relying on a woman, but that they have their own and that they're very independent toward their future, um, building up um, at an early age their credit, building up how to um, uh, pay, uh, put money aside to pay their bills, um, to not that they have bills real early, but put money aside um, to be able to have something in the future. And that way, when they get older and they come into relationships, it's not a struggle to be independent and knowing that they don't have to depend on anyone. They're a man um, or woman, vice versa. No one has to depend on anyone. And it will help, you know, when they're in relationships to be able to be self-sufficient. So I have talked to a couple people and they were saying how, you know, it seems like in relationships, they have an issue with men wanting to be um, relying on them for whatever they have, um, vice versa. And, um, you know, I think that that comes from your upbringing. You know, if a man or a woman is relying on another person to make sure that they have things, now, don't get me wrong. I feel like in a relationship, you should look for when you're dating someone or when he finds you, woman, that you should be interested in someone that does have some type of substance. But as far as going out here and just, you know, looking for someone that has it and, you know, you just, you just want to make sure that you have your own, that you're not looking for someone per se because you have your own stuff to take care of you. You know, you have a high credit score. You have money in the bank. You don't need anyone, a man, to, you know, help you in that area because you are good on your own. And I think that when we learn that early in life, it's going to be easy. When we do come into relationships, we will be able to say, you know what, you know, the man could say, I'm an engineer, you know, I'm a, uh, I'm a professor, I'm this, I'm that, you know what I mean? He could have a, a really, really high paying job, but because you have that um, independence of yourself and you have money in the bank, you have, you know, a high credit score, you have your own things, you have a car, you have you know, of course, these are material things, but you have it on your own and you can take care of yourself. You don't need a man and a man doesn't need a woman to make them um, get the things that they need in life. You know, you can get it yourself. So, and I, because I talk to so many people, a lot of times they, you know, mention this and mention that and some things stick with me. And I wanted to talk about that because, you know, I realized that a lot of times we, you know, if we don't watch um, sometimes it gets through the cracks where kids, they're raised and they're not really taught to be self-sufficient. Now you get some that are taught, really taught to be self-sufficient and some that are not. And they grow up and they start relying on a woman, you know, man, you know, a woman starts relying on a man. And we definitely do not want our children to grow up relying on anyone, be self-sufficient. It's very, very, very important. In the car, my daughter out here just driving, going to from store to store. But um, just wanted to check in with you guys and say, hope you guys are having a great, amazing day, morning, night, evening, wherever you are in the world. Yeah, it's not bad out here in Delaware today, this evening. That's what I'm saying. Um, 
The weather is pretty good. It's a little bit of an overcast. I don't know if you guys can see. Let me let you see. Other than that, just having a great day. Just enjoying the evening. Guys, I love you. Make sure that you give me a thumbs up. Make sure that you subscribe. Share my videos. And thank you so much for your support. And thank you so much for watching. Peace.